Just heard from NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell and also Executive Director of the NFLPA, Demaris Smith, earlier this morning. He was on KJM. Uh, as you heard, Roger Goodell expressing the need to do better in the hiring diverse candidate candidates. Uh, Stephen A., what's your reaction to his comments? Well, I don't have a problem with Roger Goodell the way a lot of people do. We have to understand that this is not Kennesaw Mountain Landis, the first commissioner for Major League Baseball, uh, given that job in 1920 in the aftermath of the Black Sox scandal, where even when they were acquitted, he still banned eight dudes from the sport. Mm -hmm. He was given complete autonomy to do what he wanted to do as the commissioner because baseball was in trouble and they needed him to restore their credibility. That's not Roger Goodell. Roger Goodell has not been granted that power by the owners. So basically, the Rooney rule was a misdirection move, per se. Let me give you the impression we're doing this, but we're really not doing it. But that's not Roger Goodell's fault. That's the NFL owners' fault. The NFL owners, 30 of them to be specific, not, not the Buffalo Bills, who has an Asian-American as an owner, not the, uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars, who has a Pakistani-American as an owner. I'm talking about the other white, 30 NFL owners, not all of them, but most of them, who have stood idly by and have basically ignored the Rooney Rule. That's the issue here. And so when the civil rights, you know, civil rights leaders approached Roger Goodell the other day, they made a very, very important point that this is a civil rights issue. Mm -hmm. At least 20 stadiums, new stadiums, have been put up since 1997. That's public funding. NFL, even though it's a private industry, these owners get public dollars to assist their coffers or to buffer and proliferate their coffers. You can't have this kind of nonsense transpiring. And they were right in telling Raj Goodell, you don't need to bring in experts. We are experts at this. We know what it's like to be minimized, marginalized, and being treated in an unequal fashion. So bringing that to the attention of Roger Goodell, I think, was apropos. I think that got his antennas up. I think that's why you saw the memo he put out prior to speaking to the media yesterday, because he knew what he needed to do in light of the heat that's coming in his direction and that of the league. The last part I want to mention is the Morris Smith, executive director of the Players Association, who just spoke. And I appreciate what he had to say. But I also want to let the NFL Players Association know just because it's involved the coaching in Brian Flores' civil action lawsuit doesn't mean that you don't get to be involved. You have to be involved because the issue of potential tanking has been broached mm -hmm, yeah. in that lawsuit. Well, if indeed Stephen Ross was offering to pay Brian Flores $100,000 for a loss, if it's true, he can't be an owner in the sport. But more importantly, by making such a gesture, you're compromising players. Because you got players out there going out there risking life, limb, life and limb to play this sport, and you're taking away the merits of genuine competition because you're trying to compromise it. That is a player's issue. For a player to be put in that position is a player's issue. And because it's a player's issue, DeMora Smith has every right to be front and center, as front and center on this issue, as Commissioner Roger Goodell, there is no way around it. This is not a commissioner issue. They're having to deal with just his 30 owners. This is a league issue, meeting the Players Association and the league office in concert with American citizens everywhere because we support sports, and that's the number one sport we're supporting. They rake in billions of dollars a year, some of it through public funding because of what taxpayers put into their coffers we shouldn't have to deal with any questions about competitive balance and competitive fervor being compromised. The fact that that happened is a real, real issue. Roger Goodell did the right thing. Mm -hmm. Demora Smith did the right thing. And I would encourage Congress, if necessary, to get involved on this. If you got involved with everything, you stuck your nose into steroids with baseball, you stuck your nose into a lot of different things, you can stick your nose in this. Will you it take more awareness, should. or you think the awareness is where it needs to be already? Well, no. I think that I think that the federal government needs to get involved just to make sure we're understanding the importance of equality and fairness and never, ever compromising competition. Any owner that does that cannot be an owner in any sport. No, absolutely not. Period. 
Absolutely, period. And that's why I said, I don't know if, with Stephen Ross if it's true or not. I have no clue. I'm not accusing Stephen Ross of anything. Brian Flores has. And the fact that he has and the NFL has investigated, the NFLPA needs to be all over this because if Stephen Ross did that, he basically said, the hell with the players you putting on the field. This is what I want. And by doing so, that, uh, that automatically provokes the involvement of DeMora Smith and the Players Association. There is no way around it. No way. You could change the Rooney Rule. You could modify it. You can amend it. You could get rid of it. You could do whatever. It clearly isn't working the way it was supposed to. There were three African-American coaches in the National Football League in 2003. How the hell in 2022, after all the stuff that we have dealt with as a society and a world over the last two years, is there, it was there one black head coach before that lawsuit. Before that lawsuit, a week and a half ago, mm -hmm. there was one black coach in the National Football League. How in God's name is that possible? We're moving in the complete opposite direction of and what And by the way, last intended, point, so. Josh McCown, Josh McCown was a leading candidate for the Houston Texans job. I have no issue with him. He played in the NFL. I'm sure he's a smart guy. Hell, for all I know, he'd be a capable coach. There's no knock against him. But he never coached on the NFL, yeah. never coached in college. This man was a high school coach. And Nick Casario, who one year on the job, who screwed over David Culley by bringing him in and then firing him after one season when you did nothing for him as an executive, when you should have fired yourself, was going to turn around Either him or the owner, McNair, or both of them were going to turn around and hire a high yeah. school coach. White people should be appalled by that. You know what I mean? White coaches have been waiting for an opportunity to coach in the NFL. 100%. It's, and, it's, and, and, and you're gonna, you, go, you were going to hire a high school coach? It's an insult. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.